He asked the world, well, bow down and say you are God. Every man, well, bow down and say you are king. So let's start, so let's start right now. Why would we wait? Sing it with me. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. King of glory, come on. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yes, the world, come on. Yes, the world. Well, bow down and say you are God. Come on, church. Every man. Bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? We can praise, we can praise you now in victory. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. King of glory, come on. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. King of glory, King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yes, the world, yes, the world, will bow down and say you are God. I love you, Jesus. Every man will bow down and say you are king. So let's start, so let's start right now. Why would we wait? Why would we wait? We can praise, we can praise you now. In victory, King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just, I just want to be with you. King of glory, King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. King of glory, King, we give you praise this morning, oh God. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you. We magnify you. We exalt your name this morning. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. Just want to be with you. Glory to God. Shika Ramaman do 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 Santa. Ramaman do 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 Sunday. We love you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we lift your wonderful people up before you on this morning minister to them through the Word of God. David said, Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give them clarity. Give them understanding. Make your will known to your people. They have a desire to serve you in spirit and truth. Help them to understand your perfect will for their lives. Make it plain. Make it crystal clear so that there would be no doubt at all that they are in the center of God's will. In Jesus' name I pray. 
somebody say amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. On this morning, we are talking about escaping a terrible situation. Have you ever been faced with a situation that you needed God to get you out of it? I dare someone to type below this video, I need him to get me out of something right now. In the midst of this pandemic, there is so much twists and turn, and there are so much changes that if you don't be careful, you'll find yourself stressed out, worrying, fretting, confused, not knowing which way to turn. But we know, we, I mean, we know that we can always run to Jesus because the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and they are safe. Moses and the children of Israel, after being in Egyptian bondage, God's people, for over 400 years, the time finally came for God to deliver them. And he had raised up a man by the name of Moses. This is Exodus 14. They are on their way out of Egypt, never to look back at Egypt another day in their life. They were about to escape Pharaoh's bondage, his hardship, the heartache he had cost them, the pain that Pharaoh had cost them, killing all of their, killing all of their, their, their baby boys. I mean, he tortured them. That moment finally came, a moment that they never dreamed that they would see. Some of their parents had died. Their parents weren't alive to see this. Glory to God. I'm talking to some people. Some of you wish your mom and dad was here, but God is still answering their prayers. Glory to God. This brings us into Exodus 14, verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. There are some things, listen to me, good friends, there are some things only God can do it for you. There are some doors only God can open it for you. Are you listening to me? The Red Sea. Who else was going to open the Red Sea? It wasn't a man or a woman who could do it but God. And Moses is obeying God. And they are, they are watching the wind blow the Red Sea wide open, making dry, a dry path right in the middle of it. Only God can do that. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them, on their right hand and on their left. Watch this now. And here's the trap. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Oh my gosh, what a, what, what a mistake Pharaoh's making here. Because that open door, this is what I want you to understand. There are certain doors that God will open for you and your family, Pharaoh and his army are not allowed to cross over into where you are headed. There is a place God can take you to a place where Pharaoh will never see your face again. He will never have his grip on your life. Somebody lift your hands to heaven because somebody's being delivered right now. What God is about to do in you and your family's life, some of the enemies that have tortured you and taken advantage of you and your family and abused you, they are losing their grip on you once and for all. They will never have this control over your life again. They will never be able to torture and torment you again. I'm not saying you wouldn't have trouble in the future, but there's some trouble when God subdue that thing, we will never ever see it again. Are you listening to me? Daniel went into the, I feel the Holy Ghost talking to somebody. Daniel went into the lion's den once. Joseph went into the pit once. He went into prison 
prison once, and he never saw it again when God brought him out. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they went into the fiery furnace once. Are you listening to me? Jesus went to the cross once. He went into the grave once, and when God raised him up, he never saw it again. Are you listening to me? The Holy Ghost is about to bring you out of some stuff. You will never see it again. You will never go back to it again. You will never be a slave to it again. My God, I feel the Holy Spirit here. They headed out of Egypt. They headed out of Egypt. And Pharaoh thinks he can stop God's plan. Oh, someone lift your hands to heaven and prophesy over yourself right here. I dare someone to say nothing. I dare you to type below this video and say nothing. Come on, prophesy. Nothing and nobody. Nothing, 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 nothing can stop God's plan. And I want you to see the big picture right here. Jesus Christ would come through one of these people that Moses is bringing out of Egypt. I don't want you to ever forget this. Why would God blow the Red Sea wide open? Because the forefather of the Lord Jesus Christ was in Egypt and he was about to cross that Red Sea. That's why God blew it open. He blew it open to make way for the coming of the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. If Pharaoh wiped every one of them out, there would be no coming Messiah, Jesus Christ. So when Moses lifted his rod in obedience to the word of the Lord, he connected himself eternally to the plan of God and to the coming of the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? I hope I'm making sense to you out of this. This is why the Red Sea opened up. Because Jesus is in some, he has to come through somebody. He has to come through somebody that was coming out of Egypt. And if Pharaoh could destroy all of them, he could destroy God's plan. He don't have a chance. I don't care how bad the witch doctor think he is, the old bear man, the suits here, the dust thrower, the palm reader, the hex, the spells, the curses, nothing can stop God's plan. Prophesy over yourself and over your family. Nothing can stop God's plan. My God, I feel it. The Bible says, and the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. What a death trap. And it came to pass that in the morning watch <laughs> that the Lord looked under the host of the Egyptians through, through the pillar of fire in the cloud, and God began to trouble the host of the Egyptians. God began to bring trouble on them. I dare someone lift your hands to heaven and say, trouble them. Trouble them for me. You fight my battle, God. You fight them. I'm putting my enemies in the hands of God. You fight them. You deal with them. There comes a moment and a time in all of our lives where God will arise and every enemy you have will be scattered in the name of Jesus because when they came against you, they came against God's plan. That's when they got into trouble. And look at what he did. And he took off their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily. God setting them up. He's slowing them down breaking off their wheels so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fight it for them against the Egyptians. I'm on the Lord's side and he is on my side. No weapon form against you will be able to prosper. Let's sing that song. No weapon. This is for somebody. Glory to God. No weapon form against you shall prosper sing it with me it won't work no weapon form against you shall prosper it won't work no weapon prophesy form against me shall prosper it won't work no weapon form. Lift your hands to heaven and say, 
It won't work. Sing it with me. It won't work. Come on. It won't work. Sing it with me. It won't work. Type it below this video. Type below. It won't work. Sing it with me. It won't work. Come on. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. No weapon. No weapon. Form against you shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon form against you. Guess what God will do? Listen to me, church. God will do what he said he would do. He will stand by his word and he will come through. God will do what he said he will do. He will stand by his word and he will come through no weapon, no weapon. Um, I feel the victory. Somebody getting a breakthrough right here. I said, somebody getting a breakthrough. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, it won't work. Come on, sing it with me. It won't. It won't work. Come on. It won't work. 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 Somebody's being delivered. No weapon. No weapon. I feel the Holy Ghost this morning. Somebody help me praise Him. Somebody lift your hands to heaven and open your mouth and praise Him. He's given you the victory. He's given you a breakthrough. He's given you a turnaround. The Holy Ghost is visiting somebody. Listen here. Somebody have been saying, Lord, I went through this whole year and I'm struggling, God. I'm getting ready to go into a new year. Please don't let me carry this burden. God's given you a breakthrough. He's lifting that burden. He's lifting the burden. No weapon thorn against you shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Sing it with me. It won't work. It won't work. Come on. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. Stay right in the flow. So God's, so God's attacking the enemies, ripping off their chariot wheels. And the Egyptians say, let's flee. We need to escape. The children of Israel have no weapons, but they have God. And the enemy is saying, let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And when Moses stretch out his rod, Moses and all the children of Israel had just crossed over into dry land, into new territory. And when Moses stretched that rod out, those Egyptians that was trapped because their chariot wheels were broken, God closed the water in and wiped them out. I dare someone to say nothing can stop God's plan. It won't work. No weapon, no weapon from against you shall prosper. It won't work, no weapon. Father God, oh Marakashatalabasaya. I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. Come on, lift your head, step, and join your faith with me and Pastor Amy. Father God, me and Pastor Amy pray over your people. We cover them in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cover them. We cover them. We cover them. We cover them. We cover them in the blood. We cover them. We cover them. We cover them. You are escaping a terrible situation. 
the snare is broken and you are escape. God's bringing you out of it. He's bringing you out and he's bringing you through. David said, even though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil because thou art with me. God is with you. Me and Pastor Amy cover them in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you for deliverance in their lives. Deliverance from their strongest enemies. Thank you for fighting for us, God. We will give you the glory. We will give you the honor. We will give you the praise. In the name of Jesus. Listen to support the work of the ministry and the work of the Lord. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash up account. The ministry cash up address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 27. Two six, McKinney, Texas, seven five zero seven zero. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you. We are praying for you. Join us again on tomorrow as we continue our series. Nothing can stop God's plan. God bless you. Bye bye.